Greetings. It's Lisa. It's been a while. What a gorgeous Sunday it is. Here in California, it is raining and uh, clearing, clearing the trees, cleansing, washing, and most of us take Sunday off to do exactly that. It's to go to church, to uh, clean up, have family time, and self-time, self-care. So today, I want to introduce myself for the ones who do not know me. My name is Lisa Bubari. This message today is going to be about stepping up and stepping into our power. Instead of fighting for the things we want, wouldn't it be great for us to stand up for what it is that we want, to have the voice, and when you say something and someone is not acknowledging it, you ask them to hold for a second so that your voice can be acknowledged, that what you say is important. It reminds me just a few moments ago probably about half an hour ago, I was talking to a friend and the entire conversation was, I'm going to fight until I get this or I'm going to fight until it is understood. And if we can turn the fights into, I'm stepping into my power. I am standing up for what is right especially when it comes to self-care, self-worth, and self-love versus selfish and being self-centered. If you are going to fight for your children, step into your power and stand up for them. And that comes from power versus fighting, which is mm, that energy of negativity. Because each one of us, as a gift. We have our own gift and we have our own power. And if we acknowledge and say, I am, I matter, that's where we give the power so that it's about love, it's about being cherished, it's about being accepted. First, by ourselves, accepting who we are, accepting our challenges, the pain, the hurt, everything that we are going through. And then we turn it into standing up or stepping into our power so that the other person sees you. As you are watching this, I see you see me. And I am here for you. If there is anything I can help you with, contact me, call me, message me. What I do professionally is I am a clinical hypnotherapist. But who I am is I hold space for you so I can listen so that you are in a safe place and you can express whatever it is in your mind in your heart and if I hear anything that is contrary to goodness of your own worth your own belief your own values I just voice it so you can hear it back it's not about judgment. It is not about criticism. Because we each do enough of that of our own. Just think of a train. And you become the conductor of that train. You wear your own conductor's hat. And imagine sitting in front in the conductor's cabin. And today, this very day, 
take your hat off for just a second and walk outside of conductor's compartment. And there are two other compartments that is a part of your train. As you walk out and you open the door, just look through the first compartment. There are so many people that have been sitting a part of the journey that you have been going through. Now there are passengers there that probably have been there from the day that you were born or accumulation throughout in your history, a part of your journey until today. Doesn't matter who they are, from family, from friends, sibling, marriage, children, extended family, extended friends, it doesn't matter. They've been a part of your journey until now. So you acknowledge each one and say thank you. Thank you for being a part of it. With no judgment. And as you say your hellos, walk through. And then you get to the end of the compartment. Open the next door and walk through the second compartment, which is all the things that you have accumulated in your life, throughout your life. Even your habits, behaviors, challenges, those are the things. And even objects, material things. So take an inventory of all that. And as you do, say thank you. And again, it doesn't matter if it is right, if it is wrong, if it is good or bad, none of that matters. Just acknowledging it. Because somewhere, somehow, you needed it. You asked for it. And you have it. For whatever reason, it's been a part of your journey. Once you acknowledge it all, take a nice deep breath. And now that you have taken inventory of all the people on your journey and all the things, choose which ones are important for the next phase in your life. Set a goal where you want to go. You know, so many of us plan our travels and our... Um, mm. <laughs> I haven't gone there in such a long time. I forgot what it's called. It's called vacations. <laughs> so we plan our vacations more detailed than our goals because of the clarity and everything. So today become clear of where you want to go and all the people that you want them to be a part of your next phase of journey. Today being the beginning of March and realize that as you march forward in life, Today being March 5, which is the Cinco de Mayo, it's a celebration, and yet it was not a celebration, and we have made it into a celebration. Choose from this day forward. There are certain characters, behavior, habit, things, even people that are not congruent with your energy, congruent with where you want to go. And although it may be a little bit hurtful and painful to say goodbye to it, for the goodness of your sanity, your mind, and whatever it is that you are ready to step up, to step into, and stand up for yourself, you must say thank you. But this is where the journey for that ends with love, everything with love. 
and you can say goodbye and open the door to the compartment to where you have stopped this train. And at this moment, you ask them to embark. Not embark. Embark is getting on. You want them to take, get off the train. So you ask each and every person in your mind, spiritually, physically, mentally, it does not have to be in reality, but when you do something, when you tap into your heart and you do it from the gut, from your heart, and you say, I am now ready to let go and free this person, maybe for whatever reason you latched on to them, and you free yourself. Sometimes it's just energetically. And you ask them to leave because the ticket has expired. For any change, we change the ritual and we can change the new habit that we want the new phase in our life and the new us to become. So instead of fighting what was, how about we step into what is? And as always, evoke what was, which is the past. Bring it forward. Embrace the reality. Embrace what is right now in order for you to evoke, embrace, and evolve to what will be. So the next phase of your journey is lighter, is clearer, and it is you stepping into your gift, owning your own gift, goodness, love, and become more loving and cherishing and accepting of yourself. So today, march forward. And as you have said goodbye, close the doors and come back to compartment two. Look around. The compartment may be feeling lighter now. And as you come to compartment one, look all the ones who are still a part of that compartment because those are the ones you chose to still be a part of your next phase, your journey. And say thank you. It's as if validating uh, their passport for the next phase of your journey to be with you as you are a part of their journey. And then you say, thank you. You close the door and you come back to the directors, your position. Put the hat back on. All aboard. Choo choo. And you are ready. So start the engine and let us go for the next phase of our journey. And for that, you can manifest, you can create, you can modify this journey in any way that you want. Because mine is just a metaphor. You can create your own metaphors. It can be swimming, it can be a train, it can be a car, it can be a plane. No matter what it is, let go of the fears because fears are nothing but false emotions appearing real. So that you can step into your power and say, I am, I matter. Because no one has control over you. You are the conductor of your train. Thank you for all of you who have joined. Thank you for allowing me to be a part of you. And if you want to hear and be part of 
the next phase of my journey so that with the minimal amount of what I know through 15 years of learning, experiencing, empowering and inspiring others to stand up for themselves as I have stepped into my own. And every day I learn more. Every day I give myself more permission so that I can share my gift. Then I am grateful for you. And with that, tap three times on your heart. Open your heart to be more loving. Open your heart to love more. And open your heart so that you Know that you are a part of God, universe, and all goodness from the inside out. We pray so that we ask God's guidance. We meditate so that we can tap into our own core and intuition. Until next time. I'll see you Tuesday on Heal Talk Tuesday. Thank you, Sujata, Gabriella, Ray, Kelvin. Until next week. Howdy, Kelvin. Bye-bye.